Alright guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR video on the PC and today we are playing as a TSG, it's Black Friday weekend and as you can tell, things have been going bad the last weekend so I uh, got my partners Needle Dick, Needle Dick and myself and also Spaghetti Dick, we're going to this TSG Sprinter van they got stupid names because they are idiots in the game and that's why our partners have weird names brand new, not really brand new anymore but we have a Sprinter van which is currently being used We've got our first call. It's a possible drunk or disorderly person. So it's a uh, vulnerable person that uh, may be unstable. They're drunk as well. So we need to make sure that we are dispatched for their welfare. We don't know whether it's dangerous or not. We're TSG unit, closest unit nearby. So obviously most officers can help the person that is possibly considering jumping off the bridge. We're not sure yet, but apparently they're unstable. They're drunk and they've been heard rambling about wanting to jump off the bridge. So we're going to get to the uh, situation now. Obviously, Christmas time, winter time, you know the deal. It can be a really stressful year for people, so uh, these uh, events aren't uncommon, unfortunately. I was going to park in the middle of the road. Let's see, should I close the road off? I think so. I think that's her on the left. I'm not sure. It looks like she's jogging really, really slowly. Close the road off. We'll drive in front of here. Ah, oh, cheeky bugger. Just driven around me, there's no point in closing off the road if this is the case. Okay, so, uh, me if you officers. It's a shame you can't fit more than four coppers in the van, you know. I wish people would know how to do it, then it'd be so amazing to have, like, eight cops or something in this van, and just, like, tackle street fights and everything. As you can tell, my characters are now dressed for the winter. Unfortunately, Natasha doesn't have any, uh, winter jacket just yet, because the her pad model doesn't have it. Doesn't sport it. But... Oh! They started it, all six of the clowns. She looks very, very well distressed. Get some ID, see what's happening here. So officers aren't really doing much at the moment. They're just standing looking at me. Get to safety. Hopefully. Stop here. Okay, we've got the name as well. Pretty sure that's a fake ID, but who knows. So, she's coming over here. Stumbling as well. We've got medical aid requested in, uh, La Mesa. Units respond Slowly getting some medical assistance over there for her. So, call an ambulance as well. Just get her to uh, stop in this safe area. Ambulance is on its way. There we go. So gonna check out for alcohol poisoning and any other defects. Apparently she's um, not well in the head either, so just take her into the hospital. Got our uh, video camera on here as well, just in case we need evidence in the future if she acts out or they act or something like that. Yeah, you go treat her, okay? Don't just stand there looking at me. <laughs> okay, she's been taken to the hospital, which is good. So that's that job done. And now life goes on. So let's get back in the van and what's happening now. Oh, okay guys. So we have a suspected murder. An alleged homicide. We've got an area as well. I'm going to go open the roads again. You have an area and obviously a territorial support group. We're like a special unit. So we're going to open the road again. And drive to that location. Blues and twos, I grade, you know the deal, type of thing, you know the score. Take a left. Got the general area over here where the uh, possible victim and the murder is. This is going to get interesting, guys, because I remember last time I did this uh, video, it was actually quite fascinating when we did this call out. It's usually like an injured person, a witness, dead person maybe, and a criminal. And usually the criminal is in the car, and she goes to the car's owner's address house. It turns out they're usually friends. But you know the deal. Interesting stuff. It ain't standard. The investigation does begin. Let's see what's happening. Got the uh, radio telling to uh, get backup coming. Got more backup over here as you can see. This copper seemed pretty serious. 
Okay, so go check the area. Get my torch out. Yeah, stand by. Checking the area now. See, so got the park as well. Hmm. Okay, be stand by. Looking for the yeah. Deceased victim. Also carrying LAS on standby, just in case. Let's go speak to this guy in a sec, but let me go check first. Get okay, armed coppers are on scene. Guns out and everything. Alright. What is this guy saying? Hello? Did you call the police? He did. Okay. And what's happened? Let's yada yada yada. Apparently, apparently we have an address. <laughs> yeah, my control. Send me the address for the uh, possible suspect vehicle. Oh, we found a body. Oof, that is not pleasant. Yeah, found a dead body over here. Requesting uh, coroner, forensic services, you name it. Got a body over here. I see one male, just be deceased for about an hour now. Got my experience. We'll let the professionals come though and get the MS as well. Get a London ambulance on the way. Yeah, stand by. Ambulance requested. Stand by. Ambulance is uh, en route. Uh, we're going to be uh, securing the area off while we'll we get some units to block this road off and uh, check for any potential suspects in the area. Okay, so we've got the, the uh, flashlight shine on this guy. And I guess me and my colleagues are going back in the van now, but I just want to show you we are real serious. We've got the forensic services over here. It's really cool. Guys in white coats. We're going to go make sure that uh, the body is uh, treated with appropriately. Okay, so yeah. Oh, 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 he's got back for the dead. What? Whoa, you guys healed him. I did not expect that at all. Right, what's happening here? Oh, oh, wow. He literally just turned into a bag. Da, da, da. Scariest face ever. He's like, he's literally second nature to him. You know, you have a body bag, you have a person that was healed, you just put in the body bag anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's no deep, big deal. I'm being freaking sarcastic, by the way. Let's go open the roads. These cold-hearted killers that are the forensic services. Just putting that injured guy in a body bag like that. It's a bit weird. Right. Let's get back in the van. Where are my partners as well? Where are these idiots? Come on, guys. Come on, minions. Get in the van. It's all good. That's the area we have to go to now for the address of the vehicle. So, the vehicle used in this crime, I'm going to head there now. So, make that I grade, heading to the address of the vehicle. Yeah, make control. Stand by. Give me some extra. Back up just in case I need it. Update we're using some Christmas videos soon, which means a return of the snow. As I know you guys missed it. For every video in December, I'm going to try and put snow in the game. No guarantees, but even if it isn't snowing outside, it's going to snow in our game, and that's what makes it fun. Really got the mood to get into Christmassy stuff now. Seeing as I didn't do too much of it last year, now I've got a perfect setup, and there's no excuse. MP standby, we're on scene. We're on scene with the uh, potential suspect. Got the reds on as well. Alright, we've got the address, the car owner. We're going to block the uh, front as we've just done. Call some backup as well because I don't trust the guy at all. Yeah, MP standby, requesting backup of this area too. On the uh, 
S grade. Right, what's happening here? Hello there. What's up? What's happening? He's not saying anything to me, he's just staring. Okay, this is very, very reassuring. Oh, whoa! Oh! Damn it, he carried, he just literally brought a knife out on me. Gosh. Am I trying to get my taser out? I just remembered that I haven't got my taser in game. What the hell? Ow, I got stabbed again. It's just as well I'm wearing a stab vest onto this stuff, because like I would be done for otherwise. Don't you dare. Okay, we got a um, ID on the vehicle as well, the license plate, so uh, registration plate will be uh, logged into the computer system. What have I got? Put my hat back on again, so I'm just going to go to hats. There we go. Hats are extremely important, in case you hadn't already noticed. We're also going to get an EMS team down here too. It's a backup to protect the ambulance officers just in case this guy gets back up again. He's a massive savage. But yeah, stand by uh, MP uh, state to go back to uh, the location of the vehicle as well as over. Alright, go to paramedic, you do your job and I'll do mine. Bring this guy back and we're going to take him to the police station once he's uh, revived if possible. <laughs> Looks like he's knocked out for shock. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's going to be alive much longer if you guys keep on toying with him. Alright, fair enough. You go look after him, okay? Okay, so our job now is to search the area for the uh, beige sultan. Just watching the paramedic heal this guy right now because they're giving the paramedic some protection. We're going to call another unit to take our place. We need to go find the uh, beige vehicle. As you can see, he's a first responder. He's not like an ambulance officer, so giving him primary first aid. Looks like the guy has been revi revived, but we're going to call police anyway. Extra backup, because, you know, place isn't safe. This guy's not safe. We bought a knife out with a mess like that. Right. Backup's over there, as you can hear. And time to find that beige sultan. So, we want to find this vehicle that's been used in the murder. We found the car owner. Car owner is on the side of the person who took the vehicle because he obviously attacked us with a knife, didn't he? So heading there as quick as possible now. We're going to be finding the uh, beige Sultan, which is going to be a saloon, four-door four -door cars thing. It looks a bit like a Lexus. Uh, occupants might be highly dangerous. So that's the reason why we are going to be careful with our approach. Right, let's see he's up here. Slowly does it up this uh, bend of the hill. So I should definitely like to start some new live streams again, but obviously technicality and the shadow microphone isn't the best, so I usually do my audio after the video has been uploaded now, because doing it over shadow doesn't really have the best quality, but uh, with this whole thing, I think it is what it is. It has to be a quality production in order for you guys to watch it so I try to quality check my videos from now on. The whole idea of our channel now is quality over quantity because we have enough viewers, enough subs, you guys are interested in this stuff, I mean that's pretty clear but we need to make sure that it's quality stuff you guys are watching now. That's why these videos I try to structure them a bit more, I try to add a bit more props, more signs, the video itself. Is this the right, Ah, oh, I think we stopped the wrong vehicle. Was this a blue Sultan? Nah, it's the wrong vehicle. <laughs> it's all about like quality and to be fair, this is realistic. Sometimes the cops get the wrong guy. Get the uh, we'll get the beige Sultan, obviously. Uh, MP standby. Uh, that was the vehicle. Was uh, the wrong vehicle we stopped? And now at the scene of the yeah, beige Sultan of our Boulevard heading north. So where is this fella? There we go, there's a the car. Yeah, we got the vehicle. Whoa. 
Pull to the side of the road, bitch. Okay. Got this guy. I'm gonna call some arms back up because you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, this game is really unpredictable. You think you've got it one way, and then something new comes, and you're not prepared for it whatsoever. So, yeah. It's just a waiting game now. We're just waiting for the uh, arms back up to come so that we have advantage. And obviously, uh, they're here. Now we can move in. Hands where I can see him. And he's down. We've got Aaron over here. He's, he's been arrested, and all the cops got their guns at the most unusual point in time. Making the arrest. Time is approximately 48 minutes past 10. Okay, so this guy is going to be going to the Nick for a long time. Let's go search this car as well. MP requesting a tow truck. Elbow Boulevard. Our current position. Requesting a tow truck in this vehicle. Recovery. Requesting recovery. Oh, he won't even pick my voice up. Requesting a tow truck. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Impressive. So there's the tow truck. Uh, it's taking the car away. As you can see. Load up on the back. Load this piece of junk on the back. Another car impounded thanks to the Trojan support unit and obviously me. Scorpion unit in a van. <laughs> How weird is that? Okay, get in the car, you... Get in the van, you pervs. Oh, he's taking a really long time to get into the van, isn't he? <laughs> oh, cute. Right, let's just drive back to the city. See if they need any more help. I don't think they do. Let's drive back. Oh, there was an angry voice. Angry. Quite worrying, to be fair. Right, back in the city again. I'm going to do now is going to do a bit of a shell force. We're just going to patrol around the uh, the hood area, and you guys know what I'm talking about here. It's the grove, and obviously things happen in the grove. You never know what's going to be facing you next. Could be some crazy person with a machete. It could be a clown sitting in the middle of the um, road taking a shit. <clears throat> Pardon my French. It's an interesting place, and obviously it's freezing cold as well. Yeah, I can't see snow yet, but there's going to be snow real soon, and the game's going to be so much more immersive when there is snow. So, um, I need to go tweak the uh, peds to carry winter clothes on them as well now, which is going to be interesting. Okay. We have a person with a knife around the corner. Yeah, be show me on uh, I grade to that response. Knife suspect has been spotted. Heading there instantly. I think it's a gang related stabbing, but we're not completely sure yet. We need to keep on high alert because obviously things happen in this city. On the right of me should be the uh, possible suspect. Oh! Uh. Okay, I have to actually stop here now and have a look who's doing what. Is it this guy over here? Could be this guy over here. Did it say male or female? I can't remember now. You guys will say it in the comments. There's no point you saying it because I can't go back in time and read what you're saying. Uh, could be this guy here. I've got my reds on anyway. Blocking this road off. Not that any cars would come up this road this side anyway, but you know, you know the deal. Okay, let's reverse slightly over here. Close the verse off as well. Yeah, MP, stand by. Stand by. Uh, uniform 03 is now en route in the area on scene. Cordon off nearby roads. Potential casualties may be taken if precautions aren't being made. Okay, so now we have our uh, flashlight. Damn, man. So light. You recognize him, bitch. I mean, 
Might be over here. That blip is moving. So I must be moving as well. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, that's the icy one female, isn't it? It's the white female, and everyone thought it was the black male. Like, stereotyping. It's just not on. It's this person here, and we're going to go tase her. Hey, stop where you are. Bust it. Gotcha. You ain't laughing now, are you? Right. Another suspect arrested. Grab her and take her to the police van, too. Okay. Here's the van. And uh, they're going to take it to the station, as always. How are you guys finding the uh, uniforms, by the way? I think they're amazing. They're really, really good. And the coat, I'm really loving this new coat. That's nice. It's fantastic for this weather. I'm going to try and get all the officers to wear coats, except this eccentric guy that's wearing this short sleeves shirt. I don't know why he's doing that, mate, but, you know, you do you. Alright, so now we got a, another call. And this time, it's a person that's mentally unstable with a weapon, and we're not sure what they're going to do. We need to make sure that they're in a safe position to be detained. We can take them to at hospital that way, then. Obviously, you don't want them to take anyone to the hospital with them. Left over here, right. En route, en route. Towards the location. Taking a right. Continuing. Is it this area? Is it very good? We're going to have to organise a search party as well. Yeah, MP. Stand by. Organising a search party now. Attention all units. We have a code 99 in... Let's go. Davis. Possible reports it was IC1 female, we're not sure yet. Yeah, you know, looking for someone in this area is not going to be the best idea. Right, what's this guy got to say? Losus Jail. Oh, that's cute. He's not actually saying anything to me that's of substance or anything. Fair enough. Been a long day for all of us, to be fair. Okay, Dix, let's go find this person because obviously this guy here doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's get the uh, baton out. Always get your baton out, you never know what's going to be around the corner. I don't necessarily get my taser out because, well, taser's good, but at the same time, taser, eh. Taser schmazer. There she is. Oh, 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 stop, drop the weapon. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wow. Just wow. Can't believe that. Alright, so back at the station again. I'm fed up with that van. We're going to be taking this uh, one of these three nice cars out for a ride. Do a regular patrol, do some pursuits as well. Vans are good, but don't get me wrong. They can be a bit monotonous sometimes. Oh, this is a hard choice. I'm going to choose the Beamer. Yeah, or the Astra. Hmm. Beamer, that's what I'm going to choose. Okay, so we choose the Beamer instead. Obviously, it's a nice car. One of my favourites. G31, you might have seen it in the previous video. A really nice motor, and oh my gosh, this car has some character. So you've got to get pursuits going on. Oh yes, pursuit. Oh, Grand Theft Auto. Get air, as, air support as well. Let's go begin our first interception of this video. Intercept this vehicle. Stolen vehicle. I think we did that in the van as well, but I don't count that because the vans aren't meant to pursue people or anything like that, but you get the idea. Let's go head to this uh, location. So I suppose I'll oh, come on! Killing all the fun already before I even get on the scene. That's not cool. Oh, look at the speed of this car. Guys, I recommend you look at the corner of the screen. Corner of your screen because you can see the motion blur, and when I'm driving real fast, it's amazing. This EMB does the game justice. There we go. Visual, visual, visual. Vehicle in sight. Okay, right, I'm going to go to commentary now. It's a suspect in a black Ford Transit. Uh, time is approximately 11 p.m. Police suit initiated Alvanche Boulevard. 
given all options available. Unfortunately, we don't carry a spike strip or a stinger like we did in the last video. We used it up, and we were literally concluding the patrol after that. But, uh, guys... Um, interstate drive. What well, all options. Or avenue, sorry. Taking a right, right. Doing a five zero, six zero, and a three zero. Getting some extra backup units here. Continues up Poplar Street. Past the Ben and Jerry's van. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, how's that bumper fly off? Can't be up the street, left, left. Taking a left. Okay, undecisive and where he's turning. Risk is medium, vehicle is uh, slope in slop. I deploy stingers? Oh, I can't deploy stingers. Ugh. Okay, stand by. Take it right. Right, right. Into. Innocence Boulevard, very aptly named. Into Jungston Street, Little Beacon Avenue. 6 0 to 3 0. Risk medium. Traffic is light. Road conditions clear, but potential blizzard. Davis Avenue. Alright, this guy almost pinned. Have to initiate a T pack. Oh, whoa! That was not meant to happen. Damn it, this guy's stopped. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. We just smashed the withers out. I don't think we can. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, <laughs> taste him. There we go. Tased bitch. He just got up and he put his finger, he stuck his middle finger at me, so I tased him. Alright, this guy's done for. He's on the ground, make sure that he gives up. Puts his hands up, we've got multiple officers here. We just do what the real cops do, we just call loads and loads of backup units just for one guy. And this poor guy has had enough now, hasn't he? Okay, now I'm gonna leave him alone and let him arrest him. We've got extra backup units coming to, which is good. Backup needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Strawberry. Copy, that's a code two on our way. Roger. Here we go. Here's my car. Alright, so we stopped here. Thanks. Got pursuit on progress as well. We're going to do the armed suspects one because obviously, you know, that's going to end. They're going to have loads of bullet holes through my windshield and my partner will end up bleeding out. And gosh. Well, let's get to this other pursuit. I can't wait. It's like Christmas right now, isn't it? Christmas has come early to YouTube. And that's me doing multiple pursuits. Okay, so it's on the other side of the city. Mm, not the best scenario, but also not the worst. It's on foot. Okay, maybe that is the worst scenario now. I want to get a car chase, damn it. Davis Avenue. By the Wembley Arena. Okay, let's go up here. Got another person left. Okay, we're gonna check them now. Get that car. Come on, little dick. Let's go. Sneak up here. Get my baton out as well. Taser, actually. It's more of a sensible idea. 
Oh! Whoa, 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 shot me. Resting, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Resting our backup. Oh my gosh. Oh! He's shooting at me. The freaking full automatic weapon. My taser stands no chance. I'm gonna go hide behind this uh, foliage here. Oh! No, guys. Damn it. Hide and hide and hide and. Oh, Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't even. I, you know, I'm going to lose this fight. Like, from earlier from this video, judging what happened to me, I'm losing this fight. I'm going to hide. Let's go over here. I can hear the gunshots as well. Hide by the car. Let's make sure backup. Oh my gosh, this guy is actually savage. See, I usually play as armed coppers, but you know, the thing is, you're going to need to try one car. When you're playing as them like two cars, there's always going to be a BMW X5. There's not much variety. So. It doesn't really feel realistic for using anything else. So, uh, armed is good. Players armed cops is more interesting to handle the situation properly, but obviously, you know, stuff happens. Oh! Okay, we've got special anti terror units over here. Hopefully, we'll sort the situation out. Oh my gosh, I don't want to die in this game a second time. Like, first time was embarrassing enough, but second time? Hmm. Got armed coppers over here. What are they doing? Did they get him? I think they got him. Where's the second suspect? Okay, second suspect has been apprehended too, okay. Hopefully we didn't die. We're fine. Hopefully they all got arrested fine as well. Alright. So, one of them was killed by our police and the other one was apprehended. That's it, stand down. Thanks guys for watching. This was a very interesting video to make. I actually recorded it at 2am in the morning. Hope you guys enjoy... Actually, 1am, that's a lie. Hope you guys enjoy the content. I uh, will see you soon. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned.